Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. In today's video, I'm excited to be sharing an updated version of my Pandora Halloween bracelet, which has now become a Disney Halloween themed Pandora bracelet. I didn't have a chance to film this bracelet last year, so I'm really excited to share this updated design with you, as well as some styling, how I chose to stack it, and an outfit of today. So if you're ready, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea or your choice of beverage. I, of course, am enjoying some delicious David's tea. There's so many delicious teas this time of the year from David's tea. And the one that I chose to make for today's video is one of my favorites, which is pumpkin chai. I recently shared this tea in a recent haul video. If you'd like to see that, I'll leave a link up above the screen right now on where you can find it. But anyway, you guys, without further ado, virtual cheers, and let's get started with today's video. Here is a quick overview of the bracelet itself. I have it on my Pandora Moments Oxidized Bracelet. This bracelet is now retired, and I love it. It has a spooky feel to it. The first charm I'm going to share with you is the Raindrop Safety Chain. This is perfect. I find it rains a lot during the Halloween season, so it works super well. Moving along, we have Sunny Doll, which is a weather doll. And it was a gift from my friend Tiara, and it represents this inside joke about a ghost named Abigail in her new home that she bought. And it's hilarious. It makes us laugh, and it's super cute. Moving here, we have Skeleton Girl, which you might remember an old Pandora haul video where I got her. She is adorable. I love the heart eyes, like little glasses almost, and they got the bow at the back, and just a little heart on her bum. And she's kind of like a dangle, kind of slightly, which is fun. She's kind of like dancing. Also, I have the Disney Parks exclusive Now Retired Jack and Sally. This was the first Nightmare Before Christmas charm that Pandora came out with. And I got to meet Jack and Sally. You might remember an old video that I have meeting them from my Fashion Diary sorry, series from Disneyland. And this charm takes me back to the, that special memory of seeing them. I also have the Disney Parks Treasure Cat charm. And I love him. He's so spooky with the black background. On the back, it says, we're all mad here. Nicole was able to get me this charm and I just love it. He is amazing. Now beside him, we have the retired ghost charm from Pandora. One of the first Halloween themed charms they came out with. He just makes me smile. He's so cute. I also have the lace clips, which kind of look like cobwebs, which was an idea from my friend. I also have the Haunted Mansion Dangle. This was originally sold as a set and then Rita and I shared the set. And it says, home is where the haunt is. And I love it. It's very spectacular. Beside there, I have the captivating black Murano glass bead from Pandora. I have two of them. So I have some symmetry there. And I love it. It's just so spectacular. I also have two spacers hidden between the wonderful Disney Mickey Mouse pumpkin charm. He came out last year in 2021. And as soon as he came out, when my store got him, I went and I bought one for myself and one for Tiara. He says boo on the back. And you guys have probably seen him so much on my Instagram at Fashion Storyteller, as well as lots of other collectors, because we've all been waiting for this style pumpkin Mickey charm. He is amazing. I love the orange enamel detailing on him. The little holes at like the jack-o'-lantern style, so you can kind of see the inside of the bracelet through him. Like it's just so spectacular, and I love it. Also moving along, we have another spacer, Captivating Murano. And of course, we have the Disney Nightmare Before Christmas Double Dangle Charm. It features Jack, and then you have that enamel backdrop with the big full moon, the spectacular cobweb detailing on the bale. And on the bale, it reads, what's this? Which I love that song, and it's so cool that they wrote that on the bale. I do have this featured in other videos if you want some more close-ups of it, previous Halloween videos. I have another lace Pandora clip charm representing the cobwebs. And then here on this bracelet section is my favorite movie slash TV movie. So the first section here has my Hocus Pocus vibes to it. Now Pandora does have two Disney Hocus Pocus charms. One's a silver backdrop, one's a black. They were park exclusive. I have yet to add them. So right now I just have the Pandora retired witch charm. She is adorable and so cute. And then I have the Hocus Pocus dangle charm beside her. So here are some close-ups of the witch. And now here are some close-ups of the Hocus Pocus dangle charm. It has beautiful CC detailing on the veil, the witch's hats, the bats, and then the black and orange enamel detailing to it. I would love to know if you guys have watched Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney+. Plus. If you did, what did you think of it? Please let me know down below. I also have the Disney Parks Pumpkin Mickey Charm, the original one they first did featuring Pumpkin Mickey. It says boo on the back and has cubic zirconias. 
And then over here, we have the Pandora Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Charm, now retired. He makes me think of Halloween Town. I love that series from Disney, as well as just my love of Halloween and pumpkins and carving pumpkins and all the rest of it. Obsessed. For styling, I decided to add my Pandora leather bracelet in black. There is an updated version with this as a T-bar clasp, so I'll leave a link down below where you can find that bracelet. And then the other bracelet is a bracelet my friend Stephanie designed for Halloween. It's so cool. It's like orange and black and has a little skull. I love it. It's so spooktacular. And I also paired it with my Apple Watch as well as a necklace that features three Aurora charms that I recently did a review on. I'll leave a link up above the screen right now on where you can find it. For our outfit, I'm wearing my Shop Disney Villains jacket. I shared this in a Snow White themed outfit and Pandora bracelet video. I'll leave a link up above the screen on where you can find that too. Also have a pair of matching shoes that I think look so great with the jacket. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my outfit styling as well as an updated look at my Pandora Disney Halloween theme bracelet. If you're interested in any of the pieces, I'll leave them linked down below in the description bar of this video. Some of these links may be affiliate links, which means I do earn a small percentage of the sale if you decide to purchase one of the items. A huge thank you in advance if you do use these links. It really does help me out a lot. Anyway, you guys, I'm wishing you a spectacular, wonderful Halloween. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.